All right, welcome to the Neuralink product demo. I'm really excited to show you what we've got. I think it's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> we live in the digital era. Everything is somehow connected to artificial intelligence, especially if we talk about Elon Musk. As society becomes increasingly automated by robots and artificial intelligence systems, one of the ways forward for humanity will be to physically merge with machines, as Elon Musk said. And back in 2019, he made a highly anticipated announcement about his shocking company, Neuralink. And today, you are going to find out everything you need to know about Neuralink. Back in 2017, we found out that Elon Musk was going to start a mind computer company called Neuralink. But as the news of Musk's new adventure to merge man and machine spread across social media, an electrical engineer in Ohio named Pedro Moseni must have been slapping his forehead. Well, that's because in January of 2017, he agreed to sell the name Neuralink to Musk without realizing it. Neuralink may be happy enough to develop original technology, but thinking up a name of its own was apparently too big of an ask. Pedram and his research partner Randolph Nudo had acquired the trademark on Neuralink in 2015 after launching a startup company focused on developing a device to help people with brain injuries. The startup failed to launch, and when a stranger approached them offering tens of thousands of dollars for the name, they were happy enough to accept. What they didn't realize at the time was that the stranger was none other than Elon Musk. While Musk has never commented on why he wanted the name enough in order to pay for it, Moseni believes he knows the reason. The name Neuralink really nicely captures what is happening in the field of neuromodulation, he says. So what exactly is Musk's version of Neuralink? Neuralink is a technology that can help humans interact with machines using their brains. Actually, the highly ambitious project of connecting the human brain to the internet to help control machines is almost at the stage of being released for commercial use. This device, specifically a brain-machine interface, also known as BMI, will be surgically implanted into the human brain, and with it, people will be able to communicate with machines, and guess what? Even control them. But what makes it sound great is that it will help study and cure various medical conditions. The idea currently falls quite firmly in the realm of sci-fi and is either utopian or dystopian, depending on who you talk to. Musk refers to it as a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires but it's not so easy to install. The company would need to insert 3,072 electrodes connected to a 96 thin flexible threads into your brain. These are between four and six micrometers in diameter, making them far finer than human hair, and they are connected to a brain-to-machine chipset called N1, measuring just 23 millimeters by eight millimeters. Musk says the implant that transmits neural signals is called the link. Now, to understand how Neuralink works, we must understand how our brains work physiologically. Our brain sends information to different parts of our bodies using neurons. These neurons in our brain connect with each other to form a large network and communicate using chemical signals called neurotransmitters. This reaction itself generates an electric field, and we can then record these reactions by placing electrodes nearby. These electrodes can then understand the electrical signal in our brain and translate them into an algorithm that a machine can read. This way, Neuralink will be able to read what we are thinking and find a way for us to talk to machines without even opening our mouths. The human brain has approximately 86 billion neurons. With Neuralink, each thread of the device will be connected in the brain, allowing it to monitor the activity of 1,000 brain neurons. Although that sounds like a small sample, amplified signals are recorded and interpreted as digital instructions, and information is then sent back to the brain to stimulate electrical spikes. How will it be installed? Well, as Musk said, the procedure is pretty complex and beyond the capabilities of even skilled human hands. Rather than rely on human hands for such a complex procedure as inserting the chip, a surgical robot has been developed that is capable of inserting six threads into the brain every minute. That equates to the implementation of 192 electrodes, given that there are 32 per thread, and this is done by making a small incision of two millimeters, dilated up to eight millimeters, and drilling through the skull. Tiny needles make the insertions using a microscope to ensure that no veins or arteries are touched. Once the threads are inserted, they're connected to the link, which is placed on the brain's cortical surface. The procedure should take between one or two hours. The procedure is complete, the exposed part of the skull will be covered with a chipset module while the person would be under partial anesthesia during the process. Musk also said that there won't be any wires or antennas coming out of your head after the device has been installed. As for what it actually does, 
The Neuralink website discusses being able to control an iOS device or a Bluetooth keyboard or mouse just by thinking about what you want to do. An app has been developed to train your brain to perform actions such as moving a cursor, and it will contain games that help improve your speed and accuracy. The Neuralink's team main focus is helping people with disabilities, most notably those with paralysis. It says the technology could enable them to regain their independence by allowing them to simply think of an action and see it carried out, letting them fully operate a computer, control artificial limbs, write documents, or express themselves with art. The computer is also exploring how the technology could aid in seizures, brain damage, Parkinson's disease, dementia, stroke patients, and even hearing and sight problems. It could return your eyesight, even if you've lost your optic nerve, Musk told Joe Rogan during an interview on the latter's podcast. There are some potential consumer applications, too. The company has discussed the possibility of streaming music directly in the user's brains, and Musk says there could come a time when humans don't need to actually speak to communicate. Neuralink could speed up the process of writing by removing the need to tap a keyboard using your fingers, allow you to drive a car without touching the wheel, and play games or enjoy experiences by streaming them into your mind. So what about testing the product? While most scientific research is conducted on primates, the majority of Neuralink's research has been conducted on pigs. Back in 2020, the company released a demo of three pigs to showcase its technology. The pigs included Joyce, a pig with no implant, Gertrude, who had a Neuralink implant in her brain, and Dorothy, a pig that had previously had an implant in her brain that had been removed. During the demo, Gertrude's brain activity was displayed on the screen. The beeps, which can be heard throughout, are described by Musk as arising from the neural spikes in Gertrude's brain generated by the stimulus in her environment. While Gertrude ate and sniffed around, the link sent wireless signals, which were charted on a graph, keeping track of her neural activity in real time. When such signals were fed into a computer, it became possible to predict Gertrude's movements. Although Neuralink hasn't confirmed why it prefers pigs over primates when it comes to research, some people have suggested it's to avoid the risk of an ethics lawsuit. In general, animal rights activists are more likely to go after a company that uses monkeys and other primates in its research than any other animal. Even so, that has not stopped organizations like PETA blasting Neuralink for its treatment of animals. Dr. Katie Taylor, Director of Science and Regulatory Affairs at the Cruelty-Free International, summed up the concerns of animal welfare activists with the comment. It beggars belief that animals are being used in this type of grotesque curiosity-driven experiment. In fact, 57% of experiments in universities are now believed to be in the area of basic research, much of it driven by nothing more than curiosity, and certainly not required by law. This April, Musk gave an interview in which he claimed Neuralink had created the technology to allow a monkey to play a video game with its mind. Shortly after, he released a video showing exactly that. The monkey, named Pager, was first taught to play the game of the joystick. While it played, the Neuralink device implanted in its brain recorded information about which neurons were working to control each movement. The joystick was then removed and the monkey appeared to continue playing the game with its mind. It is hoped that the same interface will one day allow people's brain disorders to control technology remotely. What do the medical professors think about all of this? Well, John Krakauer, a chief medical and scientific officer at MindMaze and professor of neurology at John Hopkins University, says that his view is humanity is still a long way away from consumer-level link-ups. Let me give a more specific concern. The device we saw was placed over a single sensory motor area. If we want to read thoughts rather than movements, assuming we knew their neural basis, where do we put it? How many will we need? How does one avoid having one's scalp studded with them? No mention of any of this, of course, Krakauer says. While a brain link-up may get people excited, he argues that there's plenty of potentially non-invasive solutions to help people with the conditions that Neuralink says its technology will treat. These existing solutions don't require invasive surgery, but Krakauer fears the cool factor clouds critical thinking. But Elon Musk wants the link to take humans far beyond new medical treatments. What do you think about Neuralink? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video, and thanks for watching.